If you could locate moves like this on the very first candle, would that help you be a better trader? In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can achieve this within Thinkorswim step by step. And we're going to do so using a scanner that only contains two very simple stock filters. All of the work of this scanner is going to come from this custom column that we build and then sort our results by. I can see right now that the first stock on the list that is highlighted green is Palantir. If I go and load in the Palantir five minute chart, this stock is indeed beginning to make a move right now. So the two stock filters are very, very simple and they exist just to one, keep sort of the riffraff out, the kind of stocks that you don't want to be looking to trade anyway. And two, to limit our results down enough that every one of the results can load in the data of this custom column. If you load in like all 48,000 or whatever stocks there are right now, the data just simply won't load fast enough. So we need some sort of way to limit the results down. As you can see here, just with these two filters, we're only seeing 109 stocks. And the two filters are simply that the volume must be greater than 250,000 and the current price must be greater than 50 cents. I don't want to be trading any super low volume or over the counter stuff anyway. So this exists to solve both of those issues with two very simple stock filters. Now, thinkorswim scanners catch a little bit of flack from traders because they are not real time, meaning the results within the scanners themselves will not live update. They're about three to five minutes delayed. But with just using simple filters like this, once again, you're only seeing the kind of stocks you want to trade anyway. It doesn't matter if a like new stock appears on the scanner when the move starts. That's not what we're building here. People maybe don't recognize that the data within the columns on Thinkorswim scan results is live updating. So when building a scanner this way, once again, just very limited functionality to scan out the actual stock results and then taking advantage of the live updating data, we essentially do build a live scanner within Thinkorswim. So what is this custom column doing? It is showing us the percent difference from the current price away from the highest high value out of the last 100 bars on a five minute chart. So essentially, if a stock is pushing local highs, it will automatically once again and in real time jump up to the top of this list. And then it is highlighting the cells green if the current five minute candle, which we just switched to a new five minute, so you'll see them all disappear now. But if the current five minute candle has traded more than 100,000 shares of volume. So it is giving extra sort of highlight to those stocks that are not only pushing current highs, but doing it on heavy volume as well. The top stock that I did see that was highlighting green before we got a new candle was IBIT. What is IBIT? I have no idea. I never would have seen this move before. Although going to look at it now, we can of course see that this is in fact a ticker. And I'm, I'm recording this video at 8.50 in the morning. The stock market doesn't open for another 40 minutes. This obviously showcases that this scanner slash custom column works in pre-market and after hours trading as well. But we can see here, IBIT is in fact pushing local highs. Thus, it appears at the top of our chart. And the last five minute candle did trade over 100,000 shares. So the tool is amazing. We can build a live scanner within Thinkorswim. So how do you build it? Don't worry, we're going to do that step by step. Yes, it involves custom coding, but all you need to do is copy what I write on the screen in front of you now. So to create a custom column in your Thinkorswim scan results, you're going to click on this tiny cog icon to the far right of your column headers, then into customize from that drop down. From this look up a column section, you are going to type in the word custom. You'll see something here like custom one through 19 
All you need to do is double click on any of those. It doesn't matter which one. And then that will give you this scroll icon on the right side. Clicking into that scroll icon and then into the think script editor from this modal is how we can begin to build out the code required for this column. So the first thing we'll focus on is the percent difference equation. And then after that, we will get to the background and value coloring and all that stuff. The percent difference equation is not a complicated one. It is your new value minus your original value, all divided by the original value. And then of course, multiplied by 100 just to make it a percent. So we're going to go with plot. I need to click on my thing here. We're going to go with plot and I'm going to name my variable X. Name it whatever you want to. I'm going to go with X. We need to do this because we need to store the value from this equation inside of a variable so that we can do our coloring later in the code and declaring the variable with keyword plot just means that that is the value that's actually going to show in the column. So anyway, our new value is the current price of the ticker, which in thinkorswim is represented by close. Our original value that we're going to subtract from that is the highest and the highest function accepts two parameters, one of data. So our data, in this case, we want to see the highest high value, separate your parameters with a comma. The second parameter is of length out of the last 100 bars. Now we're going to go ahead and wrap this entire equation in parentheses so that the entire thing gets divided by once again, that original value of highest high out of the last 100 bars. Then let's wrap this entire equation in parentheses so that the entire thing gets multiplied by 100. And then you end every single line of code with a semicolon. That's almost there. That is the code portion done of the equation. However, we're currently looking at the wrong time frame. I don't want to see this value, the percent difference value based on the highest high value on the daily chart. I want to see it on the five minute chart. You do that simply by clicking on this icon here and you can choose from any time frame available within thinkorswim. Obviously, leave the checkbox for include extended hours trading checked. That will allow this custom column to work in pre-market as you've been seeing this morning and also in after hours trading. So that's going to give us the value, the number in the custom column. And we can run this and sort by this and stocks that are at local highs will appear and will update in real time, jumping up to the top of the list. However, very importantly, I want to give extra highlight to the stocks that are trading heavy volume too. Because very often when you run a custom column like this, you get stocks at the top of the list, like, yay, they're at high of day, yay, they're at local highs, but they're not like really breaking out or doing anything exciting. They're just kind of chilling at highs. So we're going to go ahead and come down and we're going to make use of a look and feel function called assign background color. This function accepts one parameter being of color. However, we need to set up the if statement so that it only changes the color if something is true. So if the volume is greater than one, one, two, three, one, two, if the volume is greater than 100,000, then we're going to set the background color to green, else the background color is going to remain current. If I just type that in correctly, which I think I did. Um, now, once again, if, and remember, on the five minute time frame, that is the data that we are using for every reference within this code block now. So if the current five minute candle has over 100,000 shares of volume within it, then the background color will be set to green. We can go ahead and apply this. We have one more thing we need to fix. We're not done yet, but I want to just show you visually what this looks like at this point. So I've applied it and I'm running the code as things begin to load in here. We should begin to see, of course, obviously the value being the difference from the current price away from the highest high out of the last 100 bars. And then we should see some cells beginning to highlight green if they are currently trading over 100,000 shares of volume on this candle. 
However, and, and this is sort of a small thing, but we're going to fix it anyway. You may as well not half-ass it. Let's make the code as good as it can be. You can see that on these green cells, you can't see the value anymore. You can't read white on green so let's go fix that too so back within our code block here we're going to use another look and feel function just to adjust the color of the value of the cell so that we can read it if the same metric is true that highlights the cell green so this function is called assign value color however you need to use dot notation here to reference what value you're talking about right so this is why we put our equation inside of a variable earlier we need to type in the name of our variable which in my case is x and go x dot assign value color now the machine knows okay that's the value i'm changing the color of open parentheses as it's a function and once again this just accepts one parameter of color but once again we need to set it up so that it only changes the color if the cell highlights green well we already have the condition for a green cell if volume is greater than a hundred thousand then we're going to change our value color to color dot black else once again just leave it color dot current close your parentheses end your line of code with a semicolon as i hit apply now and the uh, columns sort of load back in here it doesn't do this like every five minute candle or anything it's just when you when you first load in the code it takes a second for everything to load in so as we load it in now you can see any green cells the value text within it is now black so you can read it remember that very first stock we highlighted at the intro of this video well the stock market is now open and since the close of that first candle the stock is up over 25 percent that is the power of using a real-time live updating custom column within a thinkorswim scan such as this one. If you're interested in this sort of custom coding within thinkorswim, this custom column is available alongside over 150 plus other custom coded thinkorswim scanners, studies, strategies, conditional orders, etc., etc. over on my website daytradingstrategies.com. Net. There's even a handful of free codes over on this website that you can check out, including a couple of scanners. In fact, I will make use of this to showcase to you how easy it is to import the codes from my site into your Thinkorswim. Every single code on the website will come with one of these TOS share links. All you need to do is copy this link back within your Thinkorswim platform, head to set up in the top right, open shared item, paste in the link preview and import just like that in three mouse clicks in five seconds you can have any and all of the 150 codes imported from my website and then saved locally within your thinkorswim once you import the codes they're yours so like even if you unsubscribe from the website whatever whatever you will still have these codes saved locally within your thinkorswim account anyway whenever you import a scanner for some reason thinkorswim like opens this little window you can just close that and then open up the scanner from your scan tab just as you normally would so this middle hamburger icon up here in the top right load scan query and then i just imported the dts gapper scan so i can simply click on that load it in and then of course i haven't mentioned this yet but hopefully it's obvious enough of course now i can also make use of this custom high of day difference on this scanner of course you can run this custom column on any scanner you find fit so create a scanner that you like and then use this custom column to find which stocks on that scanner are currently the strongest right now based off of this scan the first one that is highlighting green is se we go take a look at ticker se i can indeed see this is a stock that has gapped up more than 20 percent that is what my gapper scanner does and now using the custom column, I can see that it is pushing towards high of day on relatively heavy volume. So once again, at least head on over to the website and take advantage of the free scripts. I mean, they're completely free. I'm not going to ask for your email, your credit card. You don't have to make an account. None of that shady stuff. They, they literally are just free. So at least go use those, right? And if you do decide that you would like to sign up to access all 150 plus, the next three of you only to do so will get to take 30% off 
if you use discount code AUG30. I set up 30 of these codes to be available at the beginning of August currently, and if they're even still there by the time this video goes live, there is only currently three left. So if you decide to sign up, I have both a monthly plan and an annual plan. Obviously the annual plan is gonna save you some money, but more importantly and more powerfully with the annual plan, you get lifetime access to the discord server in this discord server there are currently how many is there now 320 members all that have signed up for the annual plan and they are all in here talking about what's moving throughout the day so if you're interested in being alerted on stocks moving right when they begin to move this discord is just a great place to be for that and if the code is still available at the time, remember the next three of you to sign up and use discount code AUG30, will get to take 30% off of your first year. So you're gonna get 12 months of access to every new code I will add to this website and lifetime access to the Discord for less than $280. Once again, daytradingstrategies.net. It will be linked in the description down below this video. Go check out the website, go check out the free codes, maybe read some of the reviews while you're over there to help decide for yourself if this is something that could help accelerate your trading journey.